Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Laura of Laura Plans It, and today I am planning for the week of August 3rd through the 9th, 2020, in my Erin Condren Hourly Life Planner. Okay, I don't have a whole lot going on this week, so my planner is gonna be pretty boring looking, I'm not gonna lie. I also really, really just want to use my Tombow and my Villa Beautiful pen. I don't really want to do a whole lot more than that. So I, I'm, I'm going to apologize in advance if this is not as decorative as you guys would like to typically see from me. But I just, I really was hoping for some simplicity this, this time around. I did Tombow only in my Moxie Life. I did the same thing in my cloth and paper. And I really just kind of want to do that in here too and see where it takes me. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started, and when I'm done, I'll kind of walk you through however it looks when I'm done. So here is my spread for this week, and it is super minimal. One marker, one pen, not the greatest artwork. But like I said, I just really wanted something simple. I wanted something basic. I also wanted to kind of illustrate, like if you're brand new to planning, this is a really, really easy way to set up your planner really fast. This took me less than five minutes to do. Um, anyway, yeah, about five minutes actually to do. And it really was, I mean, like I said, super simple. I marked off. When I typically do my morning routine, I use the brush side to mark off the weekend. I've marked off when my kids go to bed most nights. And I've left this open to record workouts, which right now I'm doing yoga every night, more because I injured my back and it's helping. But I'm trying to add more yoga like stretches and what have you, aside from just my back stretches. So I think that would be really a nice thing to record. I have also put in the two appointments we have this week, which is not a whole lot. And then although I do use my Moxie Life for tracking my to-do list and my tasks, I really did wanna just kind of remind myself that there are some really big things coming up. So um, I always have to meal plan and order groceries um, and, I, and pick up the groceries clearly. I also have, because we're homeschooling, I have until next week to file our notice of intent, which means that the notice that I sent to the county letting them know that we homeschool. And I really do need to start setting up my teacher planner. Uh, Saturday will be four weeks until school starts. So that countdown, the mental countdown, I don't really put a countdown on my planner, but the countdown begins on Saturday. So I wanna really start getting myself all prepped so that the whole month of September is planned and ready to go and I don't have to worry about it. So I put that in here to kind of remind me to not go too overboard with other things because I really do wanna get that ready with plenty of time in case there is a supply I'm missing, I can go ahead and order it and have plenty of time for it to get here. But this is it, there's there's nothing else. Like I said, it took about five minutes, it's really simple. I think it still looks really nice. And and throughout the week, as things come up, or maybe I, I add appointments, or if I need to add an extra to-do list, or if I'm time blocking something, it's really easy to just pick up my yellow pen here and mark things off just like I did my appointments or just like I did the weekend here and use my pen to write in exactly what I was doing. Quick, easy, simple, and I think very, very effective. So I hope that you like this kind of 
short but sweet plan with me if you do go ahead and hit that like button if you'd like to see more plan with me videos in my Erin Condren hourly planner I would love if you would subscribe to my channel don't forget to tap that bell that turns on notifications so you're always alerted when a new video comes out and as always for behind the scenes sneak peeks and what I'm working on right now head on over to my Instagram at Laura Plans It. Thanks so much for watching.